to refilm the last clip because the first time I did it, it was kind of hectic. So welcome to take two of me explaining what's going on. I'm currently in a Starbucks drive through I'm going to be trying something new today. We'll see how I like it. But aside from that, today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday, my first day of classes. So I'm using today to go ahead and get ready for school. Monday is two online classes. Tuesday, I have an in-person class scheduled, but I'm trying to get it changed to online. So then my only in-person class will be Friday. There's only one offering of the class and it is in person, so I can't change it. Normally at the start of the school semester, I like to do a, you know, first day or first week of school blog. It's usually pretty hectic. I tend to cry. It's usually a bit of a mess. Um, I'll leave one of them in the cards if I remember to do so. But I'm not going to be able to do that the same this year because so much of my schooling is going to be online. Uh, but I am starting a new job. I should be starting a gym I don't know if I'm going to go to my boyfriend's gym because he has guest pass or get my own gym membership, but I will be starting a gym. I don't want to be around people, but I just can't really work out at home, and it's been a whole six months of sitting on my booty, so I may as well. Um, but today is just going to be a preparation day, getting ready for the first day of school. So I'm going to be trying to get a desk. That's why you saw me tearing up my room because I want to put a desk where my tall dresser used to be. I'm going to be getting a full length mirror, um, a planner maybe, depending on what the planner is available are. I don't know. I'm a little weird about my planning. We'll see if it works for me. Some hair supplies, a new phone case, all kinds of stuff. Of course, masks, hand sanitizer, disinfectant sprays, everything I need to be safe in my Friday class. I'm going to be doing all of that with you guys today. So that's basically what this video is. It's me getting ready for the first day of school so that our first week of school vlog can still be interesting, even though we're not really going in person. Do you follow me? Do you understand? I hope you understand. Anyways, um, it's almost my turn to order, so you guys are going to get to hear what this new drink I'm trying is. It's not new to the menu, it's just new to me, because I'm not much of a Starbucks person. I Hi, can I just get a um, Grande Dragon drink? Anything else? That's all. You know, for $4, I may as well just get a Frappuccino. Um, I really thought it was going to be 3 but it's basically, it's four seventy two, so it's almost $5. So I really could have just gotten a Frappuccino and received a similar price for much better results, but it's okay. I don't need full, like, coffee levels of caffeine because I am trying to go to sleep early tonight because, you know, I got the morning classes. I don't need that much caffeine, so I'll deal with it. But this line is long. I'm going to be here for a minute, so I'm going to watch some YouTube. And I'll get back to you guys when we get to our first stop on the I need to buy a bunch of stuff road trip. So we're here at Goodwill number one. I'm going to two Goodwill today. We're sold out. And we're selling it at Texas. But maybe Goodwill will still have some. So I can get oops. This pops! This is better than a pink drink! Hold up! Oh yes. Grande Dragon drink. Yes, ma'am. Okay, if I can get a desk for $15 instead of $50, I'm going to do it. Wow. You guys couldn't hear me that whole time, so I'll just quickly restate what I was saying. This is delicious. I'm at Goodwill. Want to get a desk. Because if I can get one for $15 instead of $50 on Ikea, I'll do that. Except I might not even be able to get the $50 Ikea one. Because everywhere is selling out of desks, so we're, you know, crossing our fingers that Goodwill has a nice desk for me, one that'll fit in my space and stuff. I didn't bring my measuring tape, um, because I'm smart, so I guess we're just gonna have to eyeball it and hope that this desk will fit in my room. Yeah, so my button is back buttoned. You know, I'm a little too fat for these pants when I'm sitting down. But we're gonna go on Goodwill and look for a desk. That was quick. They didn't have anything, but I don't depend on this Goodwill for much. Oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> I came out here looking for my car. I mean, my brother's car. His car is gray, which makes it much harder to find than my bright blue car. But here it is. I found it. Okay, so Goodwill didn't go very well. So we're gonna take ourselves to Destination 2. So I went to Metro PCS to get a new phone case, but they don't carry my phone's cases anymore. So. That's two stores down. Zero items purchased. We're at Target now. I know Target is going to have what I want. If they don't, I'm going home. If Target doesn't have what I want, I'm literally giving up. Forget the rest of the day. Uh, but we're here to get hair stuff. So we can handle this situation. 
So it's just it's like, I'm so sick at this point. <laughs> there was no parking, so we are mad far away. There's about a trillion and a half people here, and somebody's child just sneezed on my leg. I'm sick, and I just want hair products. Uh, I know Walmart's gonna be even worse, and we have to go there too. Ooh. They have planners! Target! Target! I am so easy to distract with a good planner. <laughs> I've decided for the sake of flaking to stop buying candy. But I don't know what to get instead. I know Target is going to have what I want. If they don't, I'm going home. It's if they don't, I'm going home. If they don't, I'm going home. I am leaving Target without buying anything. It's not Target's fault, though. They had what I wanted. I just didn't want to buy it. Like, I was buying this new conditioner. And I knew it was expensive. It's like, uh, $13. But I saw the bottle, and it was so much smaller than I expected. And I was just like, I'm not gonna do this. Not today. So I put the gel back. And now I'm leaving. Oh my gosh. It's been hours, and I've accomplished absolutely nothing. I've gotten two compliments on this shirt now. Uh, this lemon crop top. So she's a fan favorite. Um, okay, so now we're going to Walmart. And if I don't buy anything at Walmart, like I literally just wasted, what time is it, an hour and a half of my life. So I have to buy something at Walmart. I've decided it must happen. <laughs> A face mask is twenty fucking dollars. My thumb is about to die and I'm very irritated. We will do a haul later. I'll see you guys on the other side. 9 p.m. My neck hurts. I've been through a lot today. The lighting is garbage. I don't know what to tell you. I've gotten a lot of compliments today on my lemon shirt. I probably already said that, but I got more <laughs> as the day went on. So people really like the lemon shirt. And I'm happy to hear it. My current first and only priority is getting this out of my room. Because my room, if we look at it from this angle, we can see that my room is in shambles. Shamble, 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 shamble. But the biggest shamble of all is the dresser covering the window and just making everything awful. So I need to get it out of the room. That's all I care about right now. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff in the room. You know how when you make a change and then you freaked out by it? Like the balance in this area feels all off now. It just feels empty and light and sad. I'm probably going to put some pictures on the wall. We'll get to this stuff tomorrow. Or maybe later. Right now, I literally just got home and I just, I, I need to just eat, shower, and just get ready for bed. We can, we can try this again later. Whenever later is. Oh my gosh, This is like the functional side, if you will. It's very ugly. I should get a bin to put all of this in. Oh my gosh, I should just buy everything in the world, shouldn't I? <laughs> this is the decorative side. <laughs> now this is the stuff that I no longer have space for. Oh my gosh, wait. What if I put all my functional stuff into this? Hmm. That might be cute. Again, tomorrow. I'm just trying to get the room to not be in such shambles that I can't even stand to stand in it, but the real work begins tomorrow. Good morning. It's Monday. 
because yesterday was such a disaster, I'm gonna include a little bit of the like things I have to do before school in today's video. So I'm on my computer now. It's turning on, and we need to. Oof. Well, one of the things that I wanted to have before I started school was a job, and yesterday I accepted a job. Couldn't get it. So today we're gonna try and get a different job, and if that doesn't happen. If it does happen, yay. Um, I'll explain the whole situation to you guys because I promised in my last vlog and in this vlog I explained the job situation. So we'll get into that. But before we do that, I need to change my registration. I need to lose my Tuesday, Thursday in-person class and switch to an online class. And, you know, I have about 30 minutes until I need to do that. So I'm probably going to look at desks and or gyms until... I can switch classes. So let's just get started. First we've got to find the new class I want to register for. And also an art class. So I select both. Did that wrong. Control. Okay, and then we search. So getting into this class is my first priority. It is still open with two spaces. So if I work quickly enough, I should be able to get in. So at 8 a.m., I will be making those switches. Until then, I'll be looking at desks. I found this desk that I like on Ikea. It's super small, has a drawer, only 50 macaroonies, but she is not available for delivery. And at my nearest Ikea, which is pretty far away, it's out of stock. So like I said, everybody's looking for desks right now. Hello? <laughs> like I said, everybody's looking for desks right now, so a lot of stuff is sold out. So instead of looking on Ikea, I'm going to look on Amazon. I love the small desks, so like these three with just these silly compartments. And I'm like, I don't get it. Like, either put drawers or just leave more leg space. Like, what is this nonsense? It's time. I'm afraid the school website is going to crash. It tends to do that sometimes. But it should be loading. Oh, it's finished. <laughs> okay, so it's 8.48. That's right, 48 minutes after class registration started. I've registered for zero new classes. Um... You see, the class that I wanted to register for, that is online, although it's online, the school still has it in as a, at a specific time. So it's registering as a schedule conflict with another class that I have at that same time. So I emailed to the registrar and was like, can you override me into this? It's online. I don't see what the problem is. I should be able to just do the online class online. Um, email the registrar. I told them that. I haven't received a response. And I'm losing it. I'm so stressed out I'm losing it because I want to get into this class. And on top of that, I told you guys the job fell through at interview number three. So I'm trying to backtrack and accept the job at interview number two. But I can't do that until I know my availability, which I don't know, because I don't know what classes I'm in yet. So, you know, maybe there's someone calling that job right now to tell them that they'll accept. I mean, the position might not even be available regardless. Like, I'm probably just going to have to go back to the job search. You know, probably flubbed that one up for myself. But I'm uh, really just running low on patience and kind of freaking out. It's 8.50 now, nearly an hour out. Ooh. Um, I'm going to go eat breakfast. That's my solution. I'm just going to go and eat a peaceful bowl of cereal. Forget any of this ever happened. And when I come back from breakfast... We'll see if my problems are solved. If they're not... Hey guys, uh, so it's really irritating me to just sit here and wait 
for the school to email me back about switching classes. It is currently, wow, 10.45. I received zero emails from the registrar. Um, my advisor transferred me to her superior because she doesn't know what to do, but I've dealt with her superior multiple times before and she never responds. Like, forget slow responses, she just doesn't respond. So it's looking to me like I'm not going to be able to change classes because nobody is responding to me and this class is going to fill up before I get the space. And it's just really, 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 really pissing me off to just sit here and wait. So what I've done is I have printed a new copy <laughs> Of my ID. I don't know if I've explained the situation to you guys. If I haven't, I will now. So, um, a few vlogs ago, maybe even in my last vlog, you guys saw me go to the bank. It was in my adulting vlog, so you can go back in time and check that one out. I went to the bank. I faxed them a copy of my ID because they needed proof of where I lived to process my credit card application. So I gave it to them. You know what? I'm finding out a month later that they never got that fax, even though I faxed it from the bank. They never got it. And they're about to close my credit card application. They're about to say, nope, you're not getting it because you didn't send us your proof of residence. So I'm going to try sending it to them again. And I wrote on here, please immediately call, and then I put my number, if my credit card application cannot be reopened so that I can reapply. How much do you want to bet they're not going to immediately call me if it doesn't get reopened? How much do you want to bet? But I have a new copy of this. I put my reference number on it. I put my name and explanation of what I'm doing. I said this is for lending services. What, like, I gave them everything they could possibly need for this to not get lost this time. So I'm going to do this again. You know, the school is stupid. The bank is stupid. Everyone's stupid except me. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. This has just been such an irritating process. I was not expecting this to go this way. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm not going to stress out. Everything is fine. Everything is cool. I'm having a great time. So we're just going to go to the bank because I can't sit in this house and wait on an email that's clearly not coming any longer. <laughs> I'm not going to lose it. I just want you to know I'm not going to lose it. I just want to manifest. <laughs> I'm here, but there is quite a long line. I'm, as a matter of fact, still standing in the like base of the bank. I'm not even in the lobby because the line is that long. So I'm gonna be here for a minute. I'm good. Can you fax this to lending services? Yes, I believe so. Do you have it with you? No. <laughs> I don't take that account. Did they give you like a, a fax number for that? Uh, they did, but I've long since lost that paper. I can look it up, but the lady said just to send it to lending services. I kind of want to get some more of these surgical face masks, but I want to get them in black. I saw a guy had his in pink, and that's like OP. And I like these better than the fabric masks, but if you get a fabric mask, you can get it cute. But, you know, I can't get it cute, but maybe I can get it black. I don't know. We'll see what Amazon got. Oh, I thought there was a hole in my mask. What is that? <laughs> what the heck? Is it a hole? I don't know what that is. This is taking a while. Um, so I found out that faxing a document, it can take 12 to 24 hours to receive the fax. I didn't know that. Um, you know, it first took me realizing fax machines are not teleportation devices and like once you fax a piece of paper you still like have the piece of paper when you're done but i realized that last time this time i've learned faxing takes a really really long time so again i ask well i asked this to myself in the car i don't think i said it on camera but again it's 2020 why are we still faxing stuff they didn't get my fax the first time why didn't they tell me to those of you wondering why i'm in my brother's car my dad is in my car so sacrifice had to be made but anyways class starts in about an hour and i'm hungry even though i literally just ate y'all saw me eat that cereal i'm hungry again so no you didn't did you see me eat the cereal i don't know i was so stressed i don't know what i filmed i don't know what i didn't film i don't know what's going on girl but i just ate cereal like an hour ago but i'm hungry again so i'm gonna go home and eat maybe like a muffin it ain't no food in my house maybe i should buy something or no i don't feel like it Explain this job situation to you as France while I'm warming up my muffin. This muffin is from a place called Frankie's. Super expensive. 
but they have good social distancing rules and like they don't even share menus and stuff so we were able to go there me and my boyfriend for and be like relatively safe you know we ate away from everyone they had all the tables separated everything was disinfected it's nice um i got lobster mac and cheese it was so good bro it's actually an um, appetizer no a side but it comes in a pretty big serving so i got it as my entree and it was so good and it's a free reward when you leave they give you a muffin <laughs> So while I heat up my muffin, let's talk about it. So in my last vlog, you guys saw me go on two different interviews, job one and job two. And I'll just go ahead and reveal the places now that I know where I'm going to be working. Job one was for Kid to Kid, which is like Plato's closet, but for kids, you know, buy and resell clothes, you follow me. And I was offered that job, but I decided not to take it because they were paying nine an hour and I could work up for a raise, but it was just lower than I wanted. And they said that they were very fast paced. And even when I walked in, I got that vibe. Everything just looked hectic. All the workers were all over the place. And I just felt like it was just a little bit too much chaos for me. Then there was job two, which was at Edible Arrangements. Now, my first ever job was at Godiva and I worked there for two years. So at Edible Arrangements, they were willing to offer me $10 an hour because I had so much experience selling people overpriced fruit and I actually actually that was interview three I'm getting them mixed up so <laughs> that was job three but it's okay so I actually accepted that position but you know um, they emailed me two days ago and told me hey respond to 24 hours and let us know if you want the job but they didn't tell me they would be emailing me and this was a couple of days after my interview so I didn't really know to expect that email so I missed it, didn't respond until about 48 hours instead of 24, and by then, they'd already given the job to someone else. So I turned around and I accepted job number two, which I don't know if I'm gonna reveal the location. Nah, I will, it doesn't matter. These stores are everywhere, so you're not gonna know where I live by me saying it. Office Depot slash Office Max. I'm gonna be working there in their print center. I will be paid either $9.50 or $10. They're not quite sure yet because I interviewed with the assistant manager and the manager manager is in charge of that position. So, but it will be at least $9.50. That much is a fine price for me. Working in print is like sort of related to my major of, you know, animation, art and stuff. So I'm happy about that. If I end up working in social media, you know, having a print job is good because you print like business cards and letterheads and things like that. And um, it's a much ch more chill environment than kid to kid. It's, I don't have experience with like paper and retail and stuff, but I almost feel like that's good because it'll give me more like broadened horizons, you know? I go from one fruit place to another fruit place. Yeah, I'm really good at dipping fruit, but I'm not very good at working in really different kinds of environments. So I feel like it'll be good for me in the long run. And I was really stuck between Edible Arrangements and Office Depot for a long time, and I didn't know which one to pick. And, um, you know, I ended up choosing Edible Arrangements because I felt comfortable with it, but they ended up making my decision for me. So Office Depot it is. The only problem with that is that I haven't told them my availability because I don't know if I'm going to be able to drop my Tuesday, Thursday class because of all of this foolery I've been dealing with today. It is 11.58. They said they're going to call me around noon to talk and uh, hopefully be able to find out my availability. And I don't know if I'm going to have it for them. Love that for me. So, yeah. Let's just hope that by the time I'm done eating this muffin, all my problems are solved. I keep saying, I'm going to do this, and then my problems will be solved, and then they're not solved. <laughs> but we're, we're really going to cross our fingers for this muffin. <laughs> I have high, high hopes. Welcome to another angle. I called job number two. The job is still available. I told them I'm not sure what my availability is going to be at the moment because school is being silly. But they did tell me that the job is still available, so that's nice. Anyways, in order to calm my nerves, instead of staring at my computer waiting on the school to respond to me, I'm going to give you guys a haul of the things that I bought yesterday and just take you on the journey that you didn't get to see, okay? <laughs> this video feels really all over the place for that, I'm sorry. Um, we'll, we'll start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, you saw. First place we went, Goodwill. I was looking for a desk. They didn't have any desks at all at that first Goodwill, but that was okay. After that, 
I went to Metro PCS T-Mobile store to get a phone case for my phone because my current phone case is broken. The stand is broken on it and various other parts of it are just a little broken, but the stand is definitely broken, so I wanted a new phone case. Walked in, lady asked me, what kind of phone do you have? And I said, I don't know. Let me check the settings. And I checked the settings. And I said, it's an LG Z9 whatever I said. And she said, no. And I was like, okay. So, because I couldn't get a phone case to replace the whole entire stand on my phone that's broken, I decided to get this. This is a pop socket, is it? Yes, it is a pop socket brand pop socket. It's, you know, pretty. What you do with it is you pop it out like that, you feel me? And then supposedly it works as a phone stand, just as that. I don't know how much I believe that, but since I can't get a phone case, I haven't any other options. So number one, this was supposed to be a phone case, but it ended up becoming a pop socket. Once we left Metro PCS, I went to where did I go? Target in order to look at hair supplies. And you guys saw me actually grab a gel off the shelf as if I was going to buy it. The reason I didn't buy it was because as I said, I looked at the leave-in conditioner that I wanted to buy. You know, Target was sold out of a lot of stuff. The leave-in conditioner I wanted to buy wasn't there, but I looked at another one that I knew I could buy. And it was, you know, 11 to $13 at all the different stores I went to for just this teeny tiny itty bitty super skinny little bottle. And I was like, I can't do it. I thought I could, but I can't do it. Not today. So sorry. So the thing that finally ended up getting purchased for me was when I went to the hair store, the black people hair store. It's run by an Asian family, though. I don't like going there because it smells and they look at you weird. And I don't like being there. So if I can buy stuff at Sally's or Walmart or Target or anywhere else, I do. But I didn't have that option today. So at that store, I ended up getting this leave-in conditioner. The Cream of Nature Argan Oil Strength and Shine Conditioner. This was... Doesn't say. This was, I think, $3. And when I tell you the $11, $13 bottle was smaller than this. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And this one's a spray, you know, super convenient, super cute, spritz spritz. I've also never really gotten into leave-in conditioners. I'm more of a hair moisturizer, hair lotion kind of girly. So getting a cheap one to start is really nice for me. So next time I use my hair, and next time I do my hair, I'll be using this. I also needed a gel because I wanted to get some hair gel. My current gels not doing much so um instead of just getting the one big green tub of eco styler that you saw i decided to try out two new things for me because another thing about going to a black hair store is that they have more size options i wanted to get some edge booster but like the little pot like maybe like this big pot was 9.95 I don't know if that's the store price marking it up because they do raise the price of everything in there, which is why another reason I don't like going there. I don't know if it was just that store or if Edge Booster is really that much, but babe, I don't need my Edge Boost that bad. I'll be okay. Nine dollars? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So instead, I decided to try the yellow Eco Styler. You saw me get the green one, and that one is formulated with olive oil. This one is formulated with argan oil, and they actually have like pretty different ingredients. It's wet line extreme clear to try out. Both of these gels are $1.95 for these little tubs and I'm just going to try them both out both on my edges as slicking for a wash and go which has never been anything I've been able to do but we'll try it and we'll just see how these gels perform. So once I left the hair store I went into Walmart and I said I have to just get everything else I need in Walmart because I'm tired. I'm tired of going around all of these stores. So I went into Walmart and I got razors, first of all. I, then I wanted to get Lysol wipes. They were completely sold out. And honestly, I don't know why that surprised me. I guess I figured, like, we've been in this pandemic long enough that they would know how many Lysol wipes to order so that they don't sell out. I was wrong. They were sold all the way out. Like, all the way out. Rows and rows and rows of where Lysol wipes should have been. Nothing. 
was no Lysol wipes, there were no Walmart wipes, there were no Clorox wipes. It, you weren't getting wipes, period. So instead, I got this zest. I bought zest. This is hand sanitizer, but it's sprayable. So I thought, instead of using a disinfectant spray and Lysol wipes like I was going to, I would use this as if it was disinfectant spray. And I would just like spray down chairs, keyboards, mouses, all the other stuff I'm going to have to use at school, hopefully only on Friday, potentially also on Tuesday or Thursday, depending on if I can get this schedule change. I just thought, this would be nice, you know, a little spritzy spritzy and a disinfectant. Also, this is nice because it's not the new hand sanitizer that smells gross. This old version that smells like rubbing alcohol and it's really nice. Hot and rounds. I also got a B12 shot. This was just a dollar and I wanted to try B12 for a while and see if it works better than coffee. After I had all of that, I remembered my room and how I'm kind of redoing it a little bit, sort of. I'm just sprucing up. I'm sprucing up my room and I remember that I wanted for a long time a full length mirror so that I can just check my outfits really easily instead of having to get on my bed, see what my legs look like, I can get off the bed and look in the like, you know, it's a wall mirror so I can see the top half of me standing and then the bottom half of me standing on the bed. Well now, I can see both halves of me because I have this mirror. It's blue to match my general room decor. It was $6 at Walmart, $6 because it is not sturdy. She's wobbly. It's not sturdy, but that is okay. I don't need it to be sturdy. I need it to be reflective. And it is. And this is too much, so I'm gonna move it. Hold on. <laughs> much better than isn't it? After I got the mirror, I went to another Goodwill to look for desks. They didn't have any. But then I remembered that there is one other Goodwill in my area, and I remember that I used to go to this Goodwill pretty often, and that they always had so much furniture. Like, people loved giving their furniture to this Goodwill. And it would be to the point where they would have two furniture sections instead of just one, one in the back of the store, one in the front of the store. So they had so much furniture. So remembering this Goodwill, I'm like, surely they have a desk for me. And I went there, and they had two desks. And they were two of the same desks, which gave me the impression that they were given by the same person. So, they had these two samey same desks that had... You know, they were a little scuffed up and scratched up, but other than that, they were really nice, really new. They had, like, their drawers still worked really nicely. They were nice desks, but they were way too big for the little tiny space that I have next to my bed, so I couldn't get those. But anyways, the haul is over anyway, so you know the story of everything I went through yesterday. It was a very frustrating day. Once I was done shopping, you know, I had to go to the airport. I don't know if you know that, but I had to drive to the airport to pick my dad up because Karomi Nona made him have to get a job out of state and he was finally coming back so I had to go pick him up from the airport and I was just really really tired when I got home. <sighs> nope. Uh, I emailed both the registrar and my advisor and it's just an email from my advisor telling me that she can't do anything for me. So I'm just waiting on the registrar. Ugh. Oh my god, the class is full. Like, of course it's full. It's been an hour and a half. But I was there in the... <laughs>